This is part 5 of the Weapon Export Tutorials, Exporting and Files. First off we're doing Exporting, click File, Export, and select MDL in the list. And just put a single letter in here, it doesn't matter what you put in here and it will never be used. The name will be taken from the model itself and the object properties. Then click Save, and then you get this little list of options. We have a mesh, we don't have any animations, we don't have inverse kinematics. I have these three boxes the same as mine. We do have geometry and we do have light sources which is the omni and the light target. You will never use these unless circumstances come up. Select export. Now we got an error. Just ignore this one. It it basically means that we've cheated and copied the volumes. This won't make any any difference and the volume will work as normal. If you don't want these errors, you're gonna have to go the long way and create every single volume, even if it's the same. If you had the same as me and the DDS plugin broke because you're using it with Windows Vista or 7, and you did the long way round with the textures. Go to the file location and swap the diffuse and the specular if you did it with the DDS files if you made them. And do not swap the normal map. Keep the one that was exported. Onto the files. Now open the .def file and you'll see something like this. Now I'm just going to paste what you should have. Actor, include properties, stuff, small ext, the extension, which is the name of the MDL. The extend the stuff, now this is important because it links to the second file, and it will be called by the name of the weapon. No group mesh 1, and lot class human. This is the stuff file. Go into the games resource f folder and go into the stuff folder and find a file which is the same as your weapon and what you need and copy it into your mods folder and then just edit it as you go and you can find other stuff to help you. This is a quick rundown of what's in this file. Filling, ammo PTR 10, this is how much rounds it holds and the ammo type. Fire sound, the sound of the weapon when it's fired. The entity, put the name of the file that you put it as. The aim range, this is the max range the AI will fire. Max range, the max range you can fire at. Automatic, you just hold down the button and it fires continuously. Recovery time is the time between shots. The speed is how fast the projectile goes. Projectile damage table. Now, the first number is the range, and the second number is the penetration value. And as you can see, as it goes 20, 38 penetration, 50 range, 36 penetration, and so on. This is the end of part 5.